Hi, everybody. It's Just Fema, and you're watching Almost Fema. We're here for the Dances with Films Festival at the Grom's TCL Chinese Theater in Hollywood, and we're here for the Two Ways Home world premiere. Join me on the red carpet. Well, technically, the green carpet. like to put us into this little box so that we're not human beings, we're just a thing. I'm here with Tana Frederick, the star of the movie Two Ways Home. How are you today? I'm fantastic. We finally made it. We're here and now I just have to sit in the theater and watch the movie. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> but, you know, it's it's great. It's so amazing to be here. It's it's like, um, you know, you, you move out here. I moved out here from Iowa, and you, I drove my Honda Civic across the country. I drove it, you know, as we all do. I drove my Honda Civic out here. I love it. <laughs> Why do dads always give us Honda Civics? They're like, honey, the parts, are, the parts are reliable. Yeah. You can replace it in a second out in California. And gas. Go down gas. And gas. <laughs> Yeah, and so, you know, the first thing you do is, like, you drive through and you're like, wow, it's a Chinese theater, and, you know, you never expect your film is going to play there. And so, 20 years later after being here, my film got here, so, you know, we do what we can as artists. That's right. Yeah. With the struggles and everything, but at the end of the day, how much sweeter is it, right? It's really beautiful. Yeah. I'm so happy, and I'm so, I'm so happy that this film in particular, um, because I love making art that means some, or that not that means something, but that maybe creates change, right. and that has a positive women, uh, women's women's outlook, not only for women, but also in this movie for mental health. Um, it's a, it's about a woman who's fighting, um, not fighting, but she's living with adversity in the sense that she is bipolar, and so you know, mental health now with budget cuts and whatnot. There are so many people suffering um, with family members, with loved ones, with, you know, and and so this film, um, I feel, is kind of a glory song to um, to women who go through mental health disorder, depression, anxiety, yeah. bipolar, whatever it is, um, because this woman walks away or moves through this story with that as kind of her badge of courage almost and reconciles with her daughter, reconciles with her grandfather saying like, this is what I got. What are you going to do about it? You know? Yeah. And, um, and I feel there can't be enough art that creates change, you know, in in the body politics so and the one thing I really hope that it changes is this word crazy that gets thrown around oh. so much like oh you're crazy or that girl is crazy it's so much and it's like wait a second what does crazy mean to you because it's so such freely off people's lips right absolutely absolutely and there's so many di absolutely and there's so many different rainbows of you know there's a rainbow of what does crazy mean does right. that mean you get anxious does that mean you get depressed does that mean sometimes you know you have your period does that what does that mean for a woman you know right. um, and and there's just a stigma attached to being moody but what that can mean is sometimes that what you are can actually make you a stronger person if, you, if you're willing to talk about it, if you're willing to share, and if you are willing to get support for it. Yeah. But I hope this film makes people feel proud of what they are and know that those colors that they think may be ugly are actually something that is really beautiful because I think what people consider in human nature ugly is the beautiful things that make art. It's those... It's those quirky things that is that yeah. that create great art and, and great films. That's true. It's mm -hmm. so true. And again, I've said a few times tonight, what is normal? There is no real normal yes. anymore, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Break there those is those barriers. I love that. Yeah. Yes, breaking them down and and there is yeah, there is no normal. I love that. There is no perfection. Yes. You know, we're all we are we're all so different and um and yeah, I love this character. I love how different she is. What was that like tapping into a character like this? Like, did you, um, was there any feelings of, you know, you didn't want to hurt anybody who uh, does suffer with this? Or was it just go for it, give it all you got, and hopefully in the end they see what you've portrayed? Thank you so much for asking that question. I was so careful because I have seen so many films that didn't portray mental health correctly. Um, and also I didn't want to make this a cause film. Being the producer, I didn't want to say, oh, this is a 
picture about bipolar disorder because right. it's not. It's about a, a strong woman in the Midwest. It's a story. It's a Midwestern story where, you know, a lot of people get um, overlook stories about real people right. in the Midwest. So right. it's, it's just, it's, you know, it's a subtle undertone. But I wanted to make sure that I put myself in there and went to some really not scary places, but was very honest and not afraid to be ugly myself with with the character yeah. and was very earnest on screen. And also that I captured what bipolar is, the the downs, the highs, the, you know, right. the shame, the, the elation. And so I just, I, I was trying to just visit, you know, myself and my darkness and my my happiness but I you know I can't expect people to change if I'm not or or to or to be proud of themselves if I'm not willing to be completely honest so it was it was a scary place to go there's some there's some scenes in there where I was just I finished and I didn't really know where my character comes off medication and I I just was like wow I okay I yeah 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 and not only, you know, you're playing a character, you're playing a person, a woman, a strong woman, but you're playing a daughter and a mother. And you have two different aspects of that in there. So you had to, I'm sure, tread a little lightly with some people in that in that way. So what was that like portraying someone's daughter who might have been against who you were in that character and the daughter who might be rejecting you for that character? Well, it is, it is a, a great, you know, my character gets out of jail where she has held up this botched convenience store robbery and unfortunately that is what happens sometimes when people aren't diagnosed correctly when they're off their meds and so she has to come back and she has to to reconcile with her family she has nowhere else to go and everybody is against her and her daughter is not happy with her <laughs> 13 year old <laughs> right and she's played brilliantly by riley bear who's from iowa um and then my the mother is not happy with her because she's had to watch the daughter and um and also she's trying to be a grand granddaughter and and her grandfather is dealing with post-traumatic stress disorder not that everybody's just got a disorder but, but he yeah. understands and those two accept each other kind of for both of their grumpiness and kind of cantankerousness, <laughs> which is kind of um, a relationship that I wish that I had with my grandfather, being from the Midwest and watching my grandfather die uh, in a nursing home versus on his land. Yeah. Um, it's really cool to have this film kind of play itself out in an ideal wor world, what I would have liked to have done, you know, what a lot of people go through in the Midwest. But it's a beautiful story. It's a really beautiful story. Our screenwriter was amazing, Richard Shino. And I got to talk to him earlier. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. Good. Yeah. And everybody that's been a part of this that I've had a chance to talk to tonight, I, the outpouring of, you know, just everybody how happy they are and wishing you such success in this. It's amazing. Oh, my it's gosh. Amazing. Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah. That's a that's the magic of independent film. It's like there is such heart there. Yeah. There is such um, everybody, you know, didn't expect that the film would get finished. I think when you do an independent film, you sign on and you're like, maybe it'll get done. <laughs> We'll see. <laughs> but, you know, you don't expect it's going to get done, let alone that it's going to be at, like, a Dances with Films festival and premiering at, at, yeah, at, at the theater. Chinese I mean, theater. God, yeah. So everybody flew out from Iowa for the most part, and it is just, it's a magical experience. It's like, oh, yeah, pinch me. Well, I'm not going to do that, but I am going to wish you. Well, you can hug me. I will. Thank you. And I'm going to wish you all the success in the world because this movie is something that everyone needs to see. And Thank you. Thank you for raising awareness for everybody and empowering women. It's such a good time for women in Hollywood. Yes. And there just can't be enough of us being amazing and doing what we do. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so, so much Thank for giving you. a shout out to independent film. You don't even like people know in my life, I'm a big independent film watcher. I feel like that's the backbone of what everything is, because not only is it the most creative, but it's the most passionate and the most heart. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It has a glue that just can't be. You can't. You can't yeah, undo it. You yeah. can undo it. And I love that. Yeah. So I wish you all the success. I Congratulations on being at Dances with Films and for Two Ways Home. It's amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so Tana much. Tana Frederick, everybody. everybody. Thank you. Try again.